Beloved in Christ, even as we are transitioning and living through some of the most spiritually turbulent times this earth has ever seen since the time of the flood, God is now even more so revealing uh, the hidden mysteries uh, that he had from uh, the beginning of time. Colossians 1.26 reads, Even though the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, his children, to whom God would make known what is uh, the uh, rise of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Beloved, the mystery that God is revealing into these last days and the days before now is Christ in you, the hope of glory. We know that the uh, not the disciples, but uh, the prophets of old, uh, they desired what we see today. They had the Spirit of God come upon them and gave them power and direction to do the will of God in the earth. But now God has revealed that the Spirit now lives on the inside of the born-again believer, that they now have that power that uh, the old uh, patriarchs yearn for, to live within them. They had, uh, as uh, uh, Jeremiah said, like fire shut be my bones, but it would exit. It would never reside with them. But when Jesus Christ came on the earth and the Spirit of God uh, uh, came upon him at his baptismals, at baptism, and the Word of God says that it not only came upon him, but it remained with him. And that's what you and I have. That's the great mystery that is now in the earth. That's why the, uh, uh, the, the lost cannot see or know God outside of the Spirit of God. They don't understand what has changed your life, what has directed your life. They believe that you made some uh, uh, internal mental change to be who you are. They don't understand that this is not about your ability to become a Christian, but the Spirit of God who now makes you a Christian. So your talk is different. Your walk is different. It is because of the Spirit of God. Now this is the great mystery that the Word of God speaks about that was kept from generations and is now manifest to the saints of God of which uh, we are. To whom would make known what is of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles? This happened with the Gentile age. So, beloved, we need to rejoice and praise God for this great revelation. Beloved, be blessed in the Lord today.